behind this statue is the story of an inspiring venture, a story of fruitful partnership between the states of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. The venture is an exciting development project. This indeed is a true symbol of cooperation. Deep in the heart of India rise the Vindhyas, the dividing lines between Lower and Upper India. On top of the Janpao hills in the Vindhyas stands an ancient temple dedicated to Goddess Charmanavati. Near the temple is a quiet pond. Its placid waters in this picturesque setting are the source of the river Chambal, referred to in ancient Indian literature as the Holy Charmanavati. The Chambal has small beginnings at its source but soon it becomes big, over 960 kilometers long. One of the very few rivers in the country to flow northward from south, the Chambal's course lies through three big states, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Big though it is, the Chambal was a neglected river. Deprived of its rich waters, some areas in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan remained dry and arid. Old-fashioned wells were the farmer's main source of supply for irrigation. Under the plough, land was hard and unyielding. Coarse grain in small quantities was the only result of strenuous work. It was a bleak and dispiriting prospect. Half-starved, sickly-looking livestock kept company with the parched land. Even for the family's daily needs of water, the housewives had to trek long distances, a tale of wasted labor. This situation is, however, fast changing as a result of the multi-purpose Chumbal Valley Development Project. The scheme has three stages. Construction of Gandhi Sagar Dam, power station and Kota Barrage with its canals. Construction of Rana Pratap Sagar Dam and power station at the Saddle Dam and construction of Kota Dam. The construction of Gandhi Sagar Dam on the Madhya Pradesh-Rajasthan border was taken in hand in 1953. A unique feature of the building was the liberal use of manpower, providing employment to thousands. Farmers found gainful avenues here during the off-season. But for a giant project like this, huge machines are necessary. Here, heavy machines of different kinds helped to build this great dam. The Gandhi Saga Dam, costing 180 million rupees, was completed in 1960. The dam has a catchment area of 22,500 square kilometers and impounds behind it a mighty reservoir with a gross capacity of about 8.6 billion cubic meters. Gandhi Sagar Dam is of the straight gravity type. It's built essentially in stone masonry in red cement mortar. It has a length of 513 meters. There are 10 crest gates to discharge surplus water. Lower down in the body of the dam are nine sluice gates to release water for irrigation. Gandhi Sagar power station is at the foot of the dam on the right flank, utilizing the waters for generating power. The power station houses four hydraulic turbines. The fourth turbine is under installation. The station has a total capacity of 92,000 kilowatts of power. This power is carried over a network of cables to many cities, towns and villages in Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan. Power lines to Ratlam, Ujjain and Indore have already been energized. So also lines to Bhopal and Itarsi. 
Other places like Sawai Madhupur, Gawalier and Jaipur are also scheduled to receive power. A part of the first stage of the Chumbal Valley development project was the construction of a barrage at Kota in Rajasthan. Again, as in the case of Gandhi Sagar, men and machines worked in harmony. The Kota barrage was built at a cost of about 31 million rupees and the formidable constructional problems it posed were successfully solved. 19 spillway gates regulate the release of waters. The Kota barrage is a barrage with a difference. It is for the first time that a high earthen dam has been built on a deep and highly pervious foundation. The construction of the dam was completed in June 1959. The Kota barrage is the headworks of the irrigation system of the Chambal scheme. Two main canals, dug at a cost of 300 million rupees, take off from here, carrying waters to 566,560 hectares of land. The right main canal will irrigate 283,280 hectares in Madhya Pradesh and over 161,800 hectares in Rajasthan. The left main canal will serve more than 101,000 hectares in Rajasthan. With the completion of the Gandhi Sagar Dam, Gandhi Sagar Powerhouse and Kota Barrage, the first stage of the project is over. A proud day for the people of this region as the Prime Minister inaugurates the project. Against the picturesque backdrop of the Chulia Falls in Rajasthan, the second stage is now in progress. Upstream of the Chulia Falls is the site for the Rana Pratap Sagar Dam. The dam, when completed, will cost about 171 million rupees. As at Gandhi Sagar, here also, manual labor plays an important role. Men and women from various parts of the country work in harmony, links in the chain of progress. Machines also play a vital role here. With their giant capacity, they help with speedy execution. It is estimated that the second stage of the Chumbal scheme would be completed by 1965. The Rana Pratap Sagar Dam would be a large balancing reservoir, holding back waters for power generation and regulating release of waters for irrigation. So the wheel has come full circle. Water now comes direct to the fields through a network of canals and miners. The project has already started yielding results and the yield should be greater after the entire scheme is complete. Light comes to places where there was either darkness or the feeble light of an oil wick. Electricity, not only for light, but also for productive purposes. A variety of machinery processes agricultural products. Power not only for the farmer, but for industrialists also. A power loom to produce more cloth. A wood cutting machine to save labor. All adding up to better and prosperous times for the rural areas as a whole. Now parents can also afford to get their children educated. There is a new spirit. The villagers can now plan their own future. It is a welcome project for a better future. The two states of Madhya Pradesh and Rajasthan have cooperated from long before the start of construction and will continue to do so long after it is over. Together they have charted destinations Together they hope to reach them. The project is the fruit and symbol of cooperation. <laughs>